Gotchak versus Rival heading up onto here. Checking, checking up on some tech. Warchief. There we go. Shifting that camera for a better angle. And like you said earlier, we got Chak versus Rival. Zero Suit versus Inkling. Oh, I guess Nico got the EQ, so that's what we're seeing in Rival. But Rival did make work. Is this, is this winner side, right? Mm -hmm. No, it seems like it's cool. It's top 16, huh? We're in winners. Yo, we're in winners right mm -hmm. now. We'll get to see you. Mm -hmm. So once again, here we go. And these are two characters to add of, uh, oh my goodness. Already a stock from Chak. A buffered air good. dodge spell oh. disaster. And if that isn't the online way, I surely don't know what else it is. So Chag yeah, taking okay. a stock just like that. And you don't want to give a player like Chag that advantage so fast. None the slightest. And remember, Chag is from Mexico. He is only 18 years old. Young talent coming in right into SoCal. Did it perform so well. And if there's one thing that Chag is known for besides his inkling play, it's his who hoth potential that yeah, up there. Yep. Good up B out of shield from right over there. Yeah, his who I is, <laughs> he seems like he knows the percent of every character. And I like this play from Shaq. He's going to go ahead and use those jab, knowing that Rival would like to go for that spot dodge jab yeah. and how fast <laughs> it's coming out. And here it comes once more. He's has, he has his back face towards Rival, knowing exactly that his back air is the best. And this time he knew he couldn't get Whipping. the follow up. So he tried to bait it out. And that splat bomb actually Ooh, catching him out. Oh my. Very what unfortunate. I don't think he knew what direction he was going to go, but the splat bomb would catch him. Knock him off. Chag will go up three stocks in this game. That option selected oh, and missed. For the hard mm -hmm. Missed potential right now. And remember, as uh, all zero suit, all zero suit players know exactly, they actually don't know what the word disadvantage is. From the fact that they're able to use that down special directly out from that situation, but Chag is getting so much work done already at a three stock lead, but Rival has got a huge hill to climb. Oh, he gets the up, be good stuff by Rival, catching the jump at, catching his jump from down to that down smash. He's able to do so oh. well. Oh, oh, he got the jab, good stuff by Rival. And oh, oh my Rival goodness. Rival showing some stuff right now. Okay, uh. He knew he was going to go for it, so he simply went around for a turnaround grab. Chag, oh, he got grounded, though. He's going to eat an F smash to the face. He's going to be safe for now, but at Rival, what? Rival doing really well right now. Mm, he's doing well, but remember, he is a whole stock behind. And he one good back or a force him off state. Oh, and he here comes the jab lock. Oh, my God, he's got he the gets, read as I well. Get that so, I see him get that so many times. It's such a good... It's, he gets that so many times. It's so good to watch. Yeah, I saw, I saw, I saw it on Twitter yeah. that a lot of Inkling players will go ahead and use their, uh, they'll ground them, hit them with the, they'll go for a jab lock, and then they'll run away with the roller to see what they'll get because it'll cover a lot of options. It'll, oh, it covers the, it covers the get, get up. up attack, back roll, and neutral get up. So if you're better off not doing nothing, right? In a sense, um, you can see if they're wait, but if you do wait, you would, you'll just get hit. Mm -hmm. And as well as the fact that Chag can then condition you, yeah. and he'll simply just do a jab lock into a smash attack. So there's a lot of things that go onto it. All of them are just not yeah. good for Rival to deal with. Yeah. So hopefully. Well, Rival's showing us some problems on that second stock. I mean, think if he keeps applying the pressure, like, he does a really good job of applying pressure, but he only could do it for so long, you know? Yeah, he's able to perform so well. Hopefully, yeah. a little different game right now. Rival brought it back really hard despite, you know, losing that first stock so fast yeah. with that SD. Hopefully, he's got a different plan coming in to game number two. Here we go. Oh, and I missed Uppy once more. It's just not working out too well. And here comes the up throw into the Uppy. The back airs once more, but Rival is able to get out of those disadvantage states super fast. And this time he perfectly spaced out his F tilt, knowing that Chak was going to go for that roller. But good spacing, but a missed opportunity. Both of them throwing out these attacks left and right, even percent relatively. And here come the up air chains. Where well, this is in Smash 4, you can't chain it into a boost kick. Oh, he's got to be careful. Into a boost kick, yeah. Rival here, he does. Ooh, he's going for those rollers. He's got a lot of show damage. He's able to get so much work done, and Chak is able to run away. And here comes the parry does into the grab. It? Oh, no, he doesn't. 
I mean, is it is it hard? Oh, see, he knows. Okay. He knows the exact right, percent. Right. He there knows. I was he, gonna see how much harder it is with flip with ZSS having flip kick. Mm -hmm. He does it earlier, knowing that it will force him into an uncomfortable position because. If he does for a spot dodge, then Chad gets a better punish off of that one. So he's got to be careful, but a much more even yeah. game. He's doing all That's fortunate. Oh. Rival grabbing the wrong way, getting caught by the side B. Chad will capitalize on it. Racking up the damage on them. This is the, now, with characters like Inkling, Palatina, Mario, mm -hmm. these are characters you want to kill before they get their rage combos going. Because mm -hmm. they're going to be able to do some things that they've never been able to do before. Mm -hmm. And remember, Inkling, uh, Inkling's back here is so yeah. good. It's so safe on shield if you it's, space it out. Yeah, correctly. especially with like the Sour Spot re grabs back here. It's like. Uh. like he almost tried to go <laughs> yeah. for it there, yeah, as you said. Good call. Oh, good DI by Chag. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Rival is quick on the chase. He tries to go for an edge guard attempt, but he's going to find some, nothing over that flip kick. He's trying to oh, use it. I seen that roller. He was going for a hard re roller on there. Mm -hmm. So Rival should be more. Good, good stuff for Rival with the shield pressure, force him to jump. Catch him with the back air. And the up smash as yeah. well. Rev's looking like a little solid. She's hanging. She's hanging right in there. Mm -hmm. And oh my god. What? Whoa. What was Whoa. that? It like, what it was that? It looked like he hit the it like he hit the splat bomb. He just as he's drifting away. He just slid everywhere and even Rival was confused. Nintendo please quit. And that grab should have hit too. I mean, but it was, that was, I don't think that was Nintendo fault. It was like a tether grab. He tried to use the tether, so it hit the, uh, so he got drifted away. But still though, that's a robbery right there. Platformer, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's a platformer. Platformer. Oh, uh, here you go. Oh. Uh, that right. seemed to suck all the momentum, all the juice out of Rival. Rival's, very unfortunate. Rival was not happy about that one. He was that playing was so well. He was playing so well too. He was going